Hey, I've got a really good idea. Let's go to Canada and photograph some owls. Come on, let's go. Oh, hit the subscribe button, click the bell. Okay, now let's go. It's gonna be a lot of fun. When I approached the Canadian border with dreams of owls fluttering through my brain, I hadn't put too much thought into that cold earthy element called snow. At first, it consisted of a light flurry that dusted the ground. And then that light flurry mingled with another light flurry. And the next thing I knew, all color vanished and the sky unleashed a blanket of snow unlike anything these Florida eyes have ever seen. Good thing I brought an extra pair of socks. Buried under a blanket of snow in the warm comfort of my car, I think to myself, is this what it feels and looks like when a bear is hibernating? And much like the bear, it's time to get moving because I know somewhere out there, owls are waiting. It is very cold. Here with some friends, we're looking for some owls. <laughs> Hopefully we can find some. With gear at the ready, Mother Nature finally took a break from her white, whimsical winter artistry. She pulled back the clouds and brought out the sun for this cute little tuft-eared bundle of fluff. This majestic animal that sits before you, this otherworldly little creature of beauty, this, my friends, is the short-eared owl, and I must say, this bird is simply breathtaking. Do you see those tufts of feathers sticking out of the top of its head? Even though those aren't this bird's ears, those tufts of feathers are where this bird gets its name. They help take away from the otherwise round shape to its head and help this little one blend in. Let's take some pictures. I've only had the pleasure of photographing these amazing little owls one other time, and that was in New York. It was a great experience, and this is turning out to be just as amazing and fun, but this owl isn't alone. There's another one right here. This one is wide awake and ready for whatever the late afternoon has in store, but the background here is a little less than desirable. It would be great if there was another owl in a more pleasing location, maybe like this. I love photographing owls, especially ones that don't live in Florida. And this entire scene before me is simply breathtaking. The owl itself is mesmerizing, throw in the snow and you have something that's totally dreamy to my eye. The only thing that could be better would be if maybe, ah, I got a great idea. Let's try video. This is absolutely beautiful, pure magic. For me, being able to experience wildlife like this is pure, unadulterated bliss. Wow. This is really a treat for me, and it makes the entire trip worth it. It's almost like I'm standing in the middle of a snow globe where owls happily decorate the treetops. But its high position on the treetops isn't an intentional composition placement for my camera. This bird is hungry and its high vantage point gives it a literal bird's eye view of the entire area. Our other little fluff ball that was sitting high in the treetops has decided to take flight. Look at those legs, all covered with feathers. They're so fluffy. And then you can check out those talons too, amazing. These birds are like super stealthy little bullets. The shape of their body is so peculiar looking. And in a split second, this one drops out of the white sky and flies in lower in front of the trees, making a nice contrast between itself and the background. That darker background is also perfect for highlighting more falling snow. Simply gorgeous. I'm loving this. These little owls are starting to get very busy and our other bird has decided to take flight as well. And it too comes flying in with no effort at all. The soft light mixed with the dark backgrounds of the forest give these images a somewhat ominous look. And the falling snow adds just the right amount of beauty and grace to help balance out the entire series of images. With the sun dropping lower on the horizon, our other owl is still on the hunt. It too has decided to look for a meal in the same area. And with two short-eared owls in the air, the photo opportunities are just going to get better. Our first owl has now descended lower over the snow-laden earth. The occasional sprig from some once green plant, turned brown by Mother Nature's icy cold grip, helps break up the monotony of white. And this bird is on a flight path right towards me. As it starts to bank to its right, I ready for the moment that it peers into my camera, and the moment it looks at me, it flies right in front of some 
type of bright red structure. Wow. <laughs> but hey, I still had the experience, so that's all that really matters. And as it continues its silent journey through the flurries of falling snow, it flies right back in front of the forest, giving me a few more snow-filled magical moments. And while I was completely hypnotized by this bird's grace and beauty, the other owl managed to capture a meal. And its chosen perch is a nice old rusty pipe, I think. Not the most photogenic spot to perch, but I'm not going to complain. I just saw short-eared owls flying through light snow flurries in the great country of Canada while surrounded by friends and loved ones. What's to complain about that? Now that the sun has almost closed out the day, the light has changed to that beautiful golden color that we can only get in the late and morning hours. And our owls seem to be both soaking it all in. Our first owl has perched high atop a nice tree, complete with cute little pine cones, and it seems to be basking in that beautiful golden light. Simply amazing. The other owl has finished its meal, and it too has parked its cute self on the end of a tiny branch. These owls seem to perch on the smallest branches, and I don't understand how the branches hold them. They must not weigh anything at all. And this bird also seems to be basking in those final moments of light. It puffs up, shakes off the snow, and becomes a cute little pile of floof. Yes, I said floof. That's a British term for exceptionally furry or fluffy, and that's exactly what this little owl is. Thanks to all my friends for inviting me on this incredible journey, and thanks to all the great people of Canada who were nice enough to say hi and share their part of the world with us. You have all proven that the magic of photography is always better with friends and loved ones.